Good morning students. How are you feeling today? Before we start our study, let's pray together. I will lead the prayer. The pray begin. And finish. Okay, so before we start, I want the class leader to check the absence list and then later after the class finish, you must report it to me. Yes, thank you. Okay, students, now I want you guys to pay close attention to some pictures that I will show you. Okay, ready? This is the first picture. Yes, and then this is the second picture. And then this is the last picture. Okay, so does anyone want to answer what those pictures are or where those pictures are? Yes, sir, I would like to answer. So in the first picture is Eiffel Tower. And the second one? I think it is a great wall of China, sir. Yes, right? And the third one? Gavi, sir, it's Candi Borobudur. Yes, correct. So, those pictures are some famous places around the world. And today, we are going to learn about descriptive text about places. Okay, student, please watch this video first. Sandung Ngabesuka is the tomb of the founder of Palangkaraya. A sandung is a small rectangular building made of iron with poster, a place to store the bones of the dead, which have previously been through the traditional ceremony, Tiwa. Sandung Ngabesuka can be found in the corner of the junction between the street of Let Kol Darmo Sugondo and Dr. Murjani, the district of Pahandut. It is located behind the house of Ngabesuka. Ngabesuka was a respected figure in Pahandut village. He became the first chief of the village around 1928. Under this sandung, a cannon belonged to Ngabesuka can be seen. In the sandung, the bones store there are Panglima Bayo and his wife, Ngabesuka Anom and his wife, Unjai, Saleh Andung, and Linen Saleh Andung. They are all one family. On the sandung, there are some colors, especially yellow, red, green, white, and black. Those colors called Limaba by Dayak people which have their meanings. Yellow color is called Bahenda. It shows the existence of God, that God's power is really great. There is no other ruler besides God. It also symbolizes wealth, nobility, and majesty. Red color is Bahandang. The meaning of this color is something immortal that never fades or changes color which is inspired by the red stone. Green color are called Bahijau by Dayak people means fertility and abundant fortune, life, peace, and development, inspired by the color of the plants present in their environment. Babuti or white color has the meaning of holiness, purity, and simplicity. Babylon or black color means evil spirits can also be good spirits. The power of darkness, sincerity, and it can also be a deterrent to harm. That's all about Sandunga Besuka. Don't forget to come and visit here. Okay, so student, all of you already see the video of Sandunga Besuka. And then uh, before we are going to the definition of descriptive text, I will show you the text of Sandung Abesuka. Right, so all of you can read it first. Right, because all of you already see and read about the text. First, I will explain about the definition of descriptive text. Or, is anyone already know what is descriptive text? Can I answer it, miss? Yes, please. In my opinion, the descriptive text is one of the texts that describe an object. Thank you, miss. Yes, you are right, Asmi. So, student, descriptive text is a text 
which describe an object it can be about any topic like a person an animal a tree or a house and then for the function of descriptive text is to describing and then reveal in a particular way about a place a person or a thing and then um the descriptive text give an illustration about an object to the readers in vividly like you have read the sandunga be yeah the sandunga besuka text which is contains of uh, the detailed explanation about that place well we have talked about the definition and the social function of the descriptive text so before i continue my explanation about the generic structure and the language features of the descriptive text have you ever known about that not yet sir okay descriptive text has its own rules in writing including in the structure or composition of which must be written in order so the descriptive text consists two section or part such as for the first is identification in this section in the first paragraph the goal is to identify something to be described or depicted in briefly explanation identification serves to introduce the reader about the object or something that we have described before we tell about its properties and the second section is description in description usually in the second paragraph and so on contains the properties inherent in something that you already introduced to the reader in the first paragraph so is it clear about the generic structure of the descriptive text yes sir it's clear glad to hear that student so next we move to the language features of the descriptive text the first characteristic is the descriptive text usually use the simple present tense and the question that appears is why the descriptive text use the simple present tense this is because we will describe a fact or truth that is attached to something or someone and one of the functions of the simple present tense is to illustrate a fact or truth for example the sun is hot and that is a fact therefore you should always use the first form of the verb or verb one the second characteristic because of its function is to describe something by explaining its properties then the text will be found many adjective descriptive such as handsome beautiful tall small big and etc and the last one of the characteristic of the descriptive text is use adverbials or using adverbials such as in the corner of an etc so you all get my point guys yes sir is there any question about the general structure and the language features of the descriptive text yes sir it's clear okay glad to hear that students okay students because you've already watched the video about sandung abesuka before could you please mention the identification of sandung abesuka one of you please may i try miss yes please raka i think the identification part is from sandung abesuka is the tomb of the founder of palangkaraya until the last part the sacrifice is usually pigs and cows Grant, thank you for your answer, Raka. How about the others? Please tell me what is the social function on Sandunga Besuka video. 
The social function of this tag is describing a place which is sandunga besuka miss. Now I wanna hear from Fallen because this is a descriptive text and descriptive text usually use simple present tense. So please mention at least two simple present tense of this descriptive text, Fallen. Yes, miss. Sandung anum ngabesuka is a tomb of the founder of Palangkaraya and Sandung is a small rectangular building, miss. Okay, thank you, Fallen. Now, how about the adjectives of descriptive text? Please mention at least two. Anyone can answer? Me, miss. Two of the adjectives of this descriptive text are colorful and small. Okay, nice. Les, how about adverbial of this text? Do you know adverbial? I'm so sorry, miss, but I think you didn't explain about it yet. Oh, okay. Adverbial are words that we use uh, to give more information about a verb. They can be a word or phrases. So, do you find adverbial in our text? I think in the corner of this. Yes, that's true. Good job, students. Well, that's it for our material today. What you get from the material? I hope you get something new. The knowledge about descriptive text especially. And now, we will make a summary about our lesson today. We start from definition. Descriptive text which says what a person or thing is like. It can be a person, animal, a tree, and others. And the function. It is to describe particular person, places, or things. Good. And the generic structure. Identification and description. Good. Identification you can see or you can find in first paragraph. And description you can find in second paragraph. Good. And the language features. Simple present tense, adjective, and adverbial. Nice. So good. Well, that's it for our material today, our lesson today. Uh, don't forget, next week we will talk or we will study about narrative text. Yeah, prepare yourself. And this is the end of our class today. See you next week. And good afternoon.